Many people associate the 80s with neon, disco, slot machines, and bright clothes. And among the cars, one often remembers DeLorean DMC-12 and Lamborghini Countach. However, to this day the main car icon of the 80s is Ferrari Testarossa. How did this car manage to be remembered and what does it have to do with games and movies? In the 80s, Ferrari needed to design a successor to the 512BB to compete with Lamborghini Countach. Development began on a new car that was supposed to correct the mistakes of its predecessor. For example, the 512 had a problem with rapid cabin heating, especially in the summertime. Also, there was not enough space for luggage. Because of this, the new car was larger than its predecessor. For example, the Testarossa, at 78 inches wide, was half a foot wider than the 512BB. This allowed luggage to be stored in the front trunk as well as behind the seats. Atelier Pininfarina and veteran engineer Leonardo Fioravanti were responsible for designing the car. They tried to combine aesthetic appeal and functionality, and they completely succeeded. Large side air intakes direct the cool air to the side radiators, and then it is exhausted through the ventilation holes in the engine cover. Such a solution made it possible to reduce the aerodynamic drag coefficient to 0.36 and to abandon the use of the rear spoiler. Also, an unusual design feature was the side mirror, which was present only on the driver's side. On models from 1987, the mirror was added to the passenger side as well, due to safety measures. The car was named after the winner of the Championship of Sports Car Racing, Ferrari 250 Testa Rosa. The car received this name due to the cylinder heads painted red. The price of this car was $181,000 in the US at the time of its appearance. A total of 7,177 cars were produced and all models were sold. The car was popular in those years. In just five years, the Testarossa made the cover of Road & Track magazine nine times. One of the downsides was that the Testarossa's performance was weaker than its competitors, Lamborghini Countach, Porsche 911, and Alpina B10 by Turbo. Among the owners of these cars were famous stars such as Elton John, Mike Tyson, John Carmack, and O.J. Simpson. There was also an open-top version of the Testarossa Spider, which was produced in a single copy, as a gift to Johnny Agnelli, director of the Fiat Group. Production of the original Ferrari Testarossa was completed in 1991, but it was replaced by an upgraded version of the coupe, which was named 512TR. The car received a retouched exterior design, upgraded engine and running gear, as well as an improved interior. Then in 1994, Ferrari introduced the limited edition F512M, which completely changed the design of the original, abandoning the retractable headlights. However, the popularity of this car was influenced by movies and games. Thus, the most famous appearance of this car is the TV series Miami Vice, which was driven by the main character James, Sonny, Crockett. In 1986, Don Johnson, the actor who played Crockett, gave Testarossa personally Enzo Ferrari, who was a fan of the series. The popularity of this series has affected the recognition and sales success of Testarossa. Miami Vice Best captures the free spirit of the 80s in the USA, where it is always sunny and beautiful. The car also appeared in the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. And also in some issues of Top Gear. The games also helped make this car popular. The very first and most famous appearance of this model occurred in the arcade game Outrun. In the Grand Theft Auto series, the design of the car called Cheetah was inspired by the Testarossa. This is an interesting story of an unusual car from an unusual era, which became an icon of industrial design and a symbol of the 80s.